Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting Astro topic for you guys. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little Astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Um, over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count, which brings us to the topic of this video. And that is, unless you've been living under a rock, you have probably heard, and that's probably why you're watching this video, that there is a solar eclipse happening in 2024. Guess why, guys? It's already 2024. Happy New Year. Now, some of you guys are super lucky and you guys do live in the path of the eclipse. I'm posting a map of it right now. Um, actually, the last eclipse that happened in 2017, uh, I was so lucky I lived almost in the path. I did have to drive a couple of hours to, you know, go view it. But this time around, not so lucky. I'm actually planning a trip, hopefully, fingers crossed, with a couple of my buddies to go down to Texas. Uh, do some just like general observing and view the eclipse. But you know, like if I'm gonna be flying out there on an airplane, how do I burn a telescope, right? Well, Saibon was generous enough to send me the SV510, which is this guy right over here. Uh, this guy is totally airplane portable. Uh, it comes with this little handy little backpack, which is, you know, easily stowable under the seat of an airplane, or of course, naturally will fit um, into the overhead bin. And um, for those of you guys have, that have been around telescopes, you know, for a while, what does this look like? It just looks like an intro level refractor, right? But this guy is actually kind of specifically tater, tailored to uh, do solar observing. So instead of having a regular finder scope, it's got a, um, a solar finder scope. So that's really cool. And let's pop the cap open and let's see what's going on under here. So boom, solar filter already pre-installed. This is a 60 millimeter objective, a 400 millimeter focal length. Focuser on this is um, an inch and a quarter, so it'll use uh, standard inch and a quarter accessories. One thing that I was actually kind of impressed with, guys, check that out. It even has a compression ring and the focuser and actually in the diagonal that it includes. So the diagonal is included along with a 20 millimeter, which looks like a Kellner eyepiece. Now guys, you know, naturally this is kind of like an entry level setup. If you do have um, inch and a quarter accessories that, you know, you have from your other telescopes, you could totally use those as well. Uh, so that's kind of cool that it uses the standard setup. Uh, one other thing that I did want to quickly point out, this, uh, this does mount to a standard tripod. This tripod is included with it, which you know I'm sure will work just fine for the scope. But if you do happen to be bringing a uh, you know, heavier duty DSL, you know, a tripod for your DSLR or something like that, uh, it will mount to that as well. Alrighty guys, so with all the specs out of the way, let's take this thing outside. We'll uh, take a visual look, see what we could see through it through the eyepiece. Hopefully mount the camera on there as well, see what kind of images we could capture. See you outside. Alrighty guys, so here's the scopes all set up outside, ready to rock and roll. As you can see, the sky did have a little bit of haze there, but it didn't affect anything too terribly much. Uh, while I'm kind of pulling the cap off here, I do like that the solar filter is built in permanently on the scope. That makes it safer for people that are not used to telescopes because the telescope can burn out your eye instantly if it's not filtered. As you can see here, I am centering the sun, that little white dot you're trying to get in the middle. Boom, there it is. And taking the first look through the telescope. So, what can we expect to see? Oh, here we go. All right, check this out, guys. Boom, so right off the bat, five sunspots right kind of smack almost in the middle of the sun. Pretty cool. There's two that are on the right side of the sun, kind of right near the limb, and then uh, one on the left hand side of the sun. And guys, um, these all showed up quite a bit uh, better visually, it's just a hand holding the camera like I was doing here. You know, it was a little bit shaky and you know, it's not quite as, uh, quite as vivid as it is kind of in real life, so you can do much better than this with the right equipment. 
Alrighty guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little clip from outside, seeing the scope in action. Uh, so what's the conclusion on the SV510? Um, overall guys, uh, the Eclipse itself, the totality right, of the Eclipse, it really depends on where you're at. It can vary from a few seconds to, but to, to a few minutes. I think the most that you'll get is like, you know, like the four or five minute mark if you're in the just total line of totality. So it's very short guys. So um, for for the actual totality portion of the Eclipse, um, is this a must have? If it's your first Eclipse, I'd say not really. I mean, it will be kind of cool to look through the scope, you know, like take a quick glance and see, you know, kind of a magnified image of the sun. Uh, but are you going to be standing there and messing around with pictures and trying to take like a perfect picture that you're going to post on Instagram? With, with the scope the way that it is, I'm reviewing it as it comes, you know, from the factory. So with this eyepiece and with this mount, uh, probably not guys. You really would want a tracking mount and you really want a setup that's continuously just recording the sun. So for that, you know, application, if you're thinking of taking just amazing pictures of the totality, this isn't ideal. Now, what this is really ideal for is the whole eclipse process. I mean, it takes hours, right? Because the sun will start, or the moon, the sun, the moon will start covering the sun. Um, and it really, you know, it takes a few hours for it to fully cover it. And then it takes, you know, a few hours for it to kind of fully uncover it, which is where this guy is really great. Because, you know, while that whole process is going on, you have plenty of time to like mess around with the scope, take a visual look through it, take some cool pictures through it. So for the whole process, I think this is a really cool addition. It's really inexpensive. I mean, it's a hundred bucks and it comes with really everything that you need to, you know, kind of get a magnified view of the sun um, and, you know, to get some pictures. Now for the actual totality, um, if you're trying to get, you know, really cool pictures of that, you would need a much, much, much more advanced setup, you know, to, you know, get your Instagram pics that are, you know, worthy of everybody's attention, I guess. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, I'll leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button on the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.